I don't know, should I turn the light off? I don't know. No, I'll just keep it. Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel everyone. I got my coffee going and I suggest you do the same because today we're going to talk about some things that I wish I would have known before moving to Rome as a non-Italian, <laughs> which you can probably tell I'm not Italian obviously. I'm German, that's also why we're back in Germany for the summer holidays, so different setting. But anyhow, um, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I wish I would have known before moving to Italy is that you definitely want to learn Italian. I wanted to learn Italian nevertheless, like even before I decided to fully move to Rome, I was already sure that I would do like a language course or something like that, but just anything to familiarize yourself with the language is something I highly, highly suggest especially because if you really live in Rome, you will also need to deal with some administrational stuff at one point or another. And if you don't know Italian, if you don't speak any Italian, that is going to be really hard. <laughs> I'm speaking from my own experience here and I don't want you to go through the same. So I definitely recommend you learn at least the basics of Italian and you can always still find somebody who can help you when it gets like too difficult but just for the sake of your own independence I would definitely suggest that because honestly before I moved to Italy I always had this idea in mind that yeah like people would speak English quite well and maybe they just wouldn't want to or you know like I, I was really thinking that okay like learning Italian would be just like something additional to, to live in Rome, to just make it more, more enjoyable. But I would say it's really crucial. Yeah, just, you know, you will, you will need it. You will need it, definitely. <laughs> so it's definitely a good idea to go to a language course or something like that. So the second thing I really wish I would have known before moving to Italy is something I kind of touched upon in my previous video already, where I talked about Rome and like how it's like to go to La Sapienza in Rome because that's the university I go to but it is that you really don't <laughs> want to rely on the buses they really just don't come or they they come and they the, so the thing with the buses in Rome is that they just come kind of whenever they want to come there is not really a schedule in that way and there were so many times when I was really in like situations where I did not want to be in just because the buses didn't come so especially when you go home at night you really want to make sure um that you don't necessarily need to take a bus to go home because chances are high that they actually don't come and that will just leave you waiting for the bus for like 20-30 minutes maybe one hour in like a sketchy place so I definitely recommend that you figure that out before you go anywhere and especially if you move to Rome and you don't know the city that well yet I definitely recommend like getting an Uber or a free now free now is a really good app they have like really cheap taxis um I'm just gonna write the name here <laughs> um so I definitely recommend that because yeah you don't want to be in a situation where you're waiting for the bus and it just doesn't come then you're like alone you don't know where you are so just just don't rely on the buses <laughs> there's also one more app which is supposed to be really good at least my friends told me it's really good i'm gonna put it here because apparently it has accurate bus timings so i don't know i haven't really tried it yet also the google maps and like the um the apple maps bus timings are definitely not correct <laughs> So I just also can tell you that you can't rely on that. I'm sorry, I didn't really know what to tell you. Otherwise, um, also taking the bike is not really an option because Rome's are not really bike friendly. Um, I mean, if you have a car, obviously that's great, but who, who has a car when they just move to Rome, you know? Um, there's also the subway, but you can only take it until like 12 during the week and 2 a.m on the weekends but you have to keep that in mind also for me for example i don't really live close to a metro station um so just you know there are just some things that you should keep in mind also when you move to rome and you maybe already know that you don't really want to pay a taxi every time you go home 
you should definitely think about picking a place that's close to a metro station. I, for example, recommend Bologna a lot or also the metro in San Giovanni. Um, like those areas are really nice, also for students especially. Or um, there's an area in Rome called, um, what is it called? I'm gonna put a name here. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you haven't found the place yet, that's where you want to live close to if you want to be close to the metro and take the metro home, for example. So the third thing that I wish I would have known before moving to Rome is that Italians take their like coffee culture and also just food in general very seriously. So you will have really, really good food, um, but it's kind of difficult if you are, for example, vegetarian or if you're also vegan, because coming from Germany, I know that it's like completely normal to find like vegan restaurants and and vegan coffee places and all of that kind of stuff but um in rome it's like definitely difficult because i think i know one place that is vegetarian or i don't know if it's like a vegetarian or a vegan place honestly because i've never been there but that's the only place that i know that i know of that is in that sort of category so just keep that in mind and also Especially when you like obviously the typical Roman food, there's like limited options if you're vegetarian, obviously. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind because I don't know, like I wish I would have known that kind of because I, I'm not a vegetarian or a vegan, but I definitely enjoy like having options sometimes. And, um, and that's not really the case in Rome because obviously like Rome is like, really famous for traditional food like spaghetti carbonara or also spaghetti grecia so yeah obviously people don't really want to distance themselves from that like traditional cuisine uh, which is great like obviously for tourists and everything but yeah i'm just saying there's like not that many options if you are vegetarian or vegan so my fourth point is mostly liable for people who come from like higher income countries i would say like for example northern europe um Italy is gonna be really cheap for you because <laughs> um, I am shocked every time that I go back to Germany because the prices for everything are just so high and I'm just used to different standards now. For example, you're mostly gonna pay like 1 euro 20, like maybe 1 euro 50 or 2 euro max for a good cappuccino. I go out for dinner, I usually pay around like 15 euro maximum including like really good pasta or pizza or something like that um a drink and also some water yeah that's just something to keep in mind so you can also like kind of know your budget a bit um housing in rome is kind of expensive it's a mess like it's really really hard to find a place but um i would say like housing is the most expensive thing and also energy costs and stuff like that but like going out and like for example going clubbing is also kind of expensive sometimes like 15 euro um i think that's like the max i have paid for a club but also there are like ways to get around it like there are free clubs in rome or also clubs that are like eight euro or something so you can definitely like keep your budget and just like find your ways in a way and so the fifth thing i wish i would have known before coming to rome is that everybody is gonna be late and i know that's kind of like a stereotype but it is just very very true also at this point i gotta say it's because of the buses mostly or just like public transport in general which is just not working so it makes sense that everybody's late because sometimes you have to wait for the bus like one hour and it just doesn't come so i mean what are you supposed to do you know like there is not really a way around it except if you always leave like one hour earlier but who really does that so um that's one thing i definitely wish i would have known and also in the university like it's kind of normal to be late because because of that because the public transport just doesn't work um i think that's like the main reason honestly so it's just gonna be very normal if people are late for dinner or for drinks or whatever you want to do um and it's not it's it's not like they don't care about meeting you or something because for example that's how it's perceived in germany like if you're late um people would take it very personally and they would be like um thinking that somebody doesn't value your time or something but that's really not how it's like in italy it's just really that 
the whole like mentality kind of is based on also the structures obviously and the structures just don't allow you to be on time really um so yeah also when you have like something really important i definitely recommend like planning in like one hour prior minimum to just like really be on time <laughs> but yeah that's just something that i wanted to say as well because i definitely knew that it would be the case like i was kind of presuming it but um i didn't know it would be like that crazy so just keep that in mind but honestly i really like that mentality so i really hope you enjoyed this video it was very short but um i think that those five things are definitely like really important to know <laughs> if you want to move to Italy or especially if you want to move to Rome obviously like I can only really speak for Rome and also coming from my own culture I don't really like I can't really speak for anything else but that's just like my personal two cents on it and um and yeah I really hope that you're gonna have a great rest of your day and also I hope that your plans to move to Italy are going to go amazing and I'm excited to see you in the next one. So have a great day and bye. This is so good. I added some vanilla sugar and I also suggest you do the same because <laughs> this is too good.